All right, in this lesson, we're going to look at how to find the center of mass for a planar lamina. So basically, a planar lamina is an engineering term used to describe a plate that's, that's infinitesimally thin um, that has constant density at each point on that plate. Okay, so what's going to happen is that for the, mat, for the total mass, you're going to get some constant times the density, which is we're going to use for rho. And then for the moments about x and y, they're going to involve, they're going to have rho in, in they're going to have the value, the density value in it as well. So at the end, those density values will cancel out, and you'll see that in the calculations. And so that's going to leave us with the center of mass, and that is, and, and because we're assuming that this planar lamina is constant density, um, the center of mass is actually called a centroid. Okay, so for this example, we have two curves here. X cubed minus X, which is the one in red that you see here, and X squared minus one, which is basically a parabola shifted down by one. So we can see there, there's, they're bounded by minus one and one. Okay, and again, we can solve those algebraically. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write here. It's minus one here, and the other point is at positive one. So there's our, there's our plate. Okay, there's our planar lamina plate, and we want to find the center there. So the center in this case is represented by that purple dot that you see. So we're going to actually find that. Okay, so the formulas are again are derived in the notes. Okay, so I'm going to apply those formulas into this example. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is uh, find the total mass. Okay, so we're going to denote that by m. Okay, and Again, we're assuming constant density, so we're just going to call the density rho in this case. Okay. And for the mass, it's the rho times the integral between the bounds and the difference of the functions. So top minus bottom. And this actually makes sense if you think about it, because you have density. And if you think about the integral, that is just the area. So the density times area is gives you mass, okay? So, okay, so we have everything we need, okay? So we're gonna get, in this case, right, we're gonna integrate the function between minus one and one. The top part is x cubed minus x minus the bottom part. All right, so let's simplify this. Okay, we're gonna get, so rho times the integral from minus one to one of x cubed minus x squared minus x plus one. All right, so that's after simplifying this. Okay, then we're going to take the integral. So just applying the power rule for each term. Evaluate that from minus one, from minus one to one. And we end up getting four thirds row. Okay. So that is the total mass for this uh, planar lamina that you see here. All right. So. Okay, so now the next thing is that we need to figure out the moments about x and the moments about y. Okay, and then once we find those, then we're going to take that value and divide by the mass, and that will give us our coordinate. Okay. Okay, so keep in mind, so I'm going to write the, just as a reminder, x bar is the moment about y divided by the total mass. And y bar is the moment about x divided by the total mass. All right, so let's calculate the moment of y now. Okay. 
Okay, so again, that's going to be the that's going to be the density times the integral in this case. Okay, um, f x times the difference between the functions. And again, these are actually derived in my in my notes. If you're interested in how these are um, how these are uh, arrived at. <clears throat> All right. So again, we're going to get we have the density times the integral. Our bounds, our bounded region is bounded between x equals negative 1 and 1. And it's going to be x times okay, f of x minus g of x, which is what we had from up above. Okay, so I can just use this result. Okay. Okay, so that's going to give us the integral of, let's see, integral from minus 1 to 1 of x to the fourth minus x squared. Well, actually, in this case, x, well, x cubed. minus x squared plus x. Okay, so taking the integral, I'm going to get 1 fifth x to the fifth minus 1 fourth x to the fourth minus 1 third x to the cubed plus x squared or one half x squared so I'll just write this way okay um, evaluate that from minus one to one and you end up getting minus 4 over 15 times rho. Okay. All right, so now we need to calculate the moment about x. So that is going to be 1 half rho times the integral from the lower bound to upper bound of the function squared minus, well in this case, f squared minus g squared x. So again, it's top squared minus bottom squared. Okay. In this case, that's going to be from minus 1 to 1. Okay. So it's going to be the top part is x cubed minus x squared minus the bottom, which is x squared minus 1 squared. Okay, and this is going to give you rho over 2 times the integral from minus 1 to 1 of x to the 6 minus 3x to the 4th plus 3x squared minus 1. Okay, so again, using the power rule, we're going to get 1 7th x to the 7th minus 3 fifths x to the 5th plus 3x cubed over 3, so that leaves you x cubed minus x. And evaluate this from minus 1 to 1. So simplifying this, this is going to give us minus 16 over 35 rho. Okay. So we have everything now. Okay, so we have the we have the mass, 
We have the moment about y, and we have the moment about x. Okay, so x bar, okay, where x bar is the moment about y divided by the total mass. So in this, in this case, we get minus 4 over 15 times the density divided by the total mass, which was 4 thirds rho. And that's going to give us minus 1 fifth. And notice that the rows cancel out. And that is because this is, we're assuming that this, that this plate is, has constant density. Hence the term planar lamina. All right, so for y bar, it's going to be the moment about x divided by the total mass. So that's going to be minus 16 over 35 times the density divided by the total mass. Again, the densities cancel out. And that leaves you with minus 12 over 35. So therefore, the center of mass in this case, or the centroid, is equal to minus 1 fifth comma minus 12 over 35. And that is the value that you see up here, okay, the purple value. So there is an interesting application that I'm going to send you all next. Um, and you can use the centroid to actually find the, to find the volume. And that is using what's called the, uh, using, using the idea of the, uh, the, to the, using the volume of the torus. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that uh, in the next example. Okay.